Welcome to the lesson on area of a circle. The area of a circle is equal to the product of pi and the square of the radius. When you square something, you multiply it by itself one time. So the area of a circle is equal to, in this order because of PEMDAS, order of operations, you do the exponent first. So radius times radius times pi. Let's try an example. We have a circle that has a radius of five centimeters. We're going to use 3.14 for pi. You start with the formula, area equals pi multiplied by r squared. Or you could also write this pi times r times r. Remember an exponent shows repeated multiplication. So pi, we're going to use 3.14 and our radius is five. So to calculate this, you would first do five times five, which is 25, multiplied by 3.14. You get 78.5, and that's 78.5 square centimeters. Our units here are squared because it's area. We're multiplying two different dimensions. Let's try another one. This time we have the diameter of our circle. So unlike circumference, you only have one formula for area. So in order to use this formula, we need to know the radius. So now we need to go find the radius. So the radius is equal to half of the diameter. Since the diameter is 14, the radius here is seven. Now we're ready to go back to our area formula and Put 3.14 for pi and 7 for the radius. And once again, you're calculating this part of the expression first. 7 times 7 is 49. Multiply by 3.14 for 153.86. And the units here are square inches. Personally, I do not round a solution unless the problem asks me to. Your turn. I would like you to find the area of a circle with a radius of eight feet using 3.14 for pi. Please pause the video and come back to check your work. Welcome back. So again, we're gonna use the formula area equals pi times r squared. Seeing as we're given the radius that is eight feet, we already have what we need. So we substitute in what we know, pi is 3.14, the radius is eight. Again, on your calculator, eight times eight, then multiply by 3.14 for an answer of 200.96 square feet. I'd like you to try another one. This time you have a circle with a diameter of 42 yards and you're gonna use 3.14 for pi. Go ahead and hit pause, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So the area is equal to pi r squared. In this case, we have the diameter of 42. So we first have to go calculate the radius. So since the radius is half of the diameter, we know that half of 42 is 21. So now we're ready to go calculate the area because we know the radius is 21. So we substitute in what we know, pi is 3.14, the radius is 21. Once again, on your calculator, 21 times 21, and then you multiply by 3.14 to get 1,384.74 square yards. Keeping in mind that your units are squared units. Here's a real world problem. We have a semicircle here, it's a protractor. I would like you to find the area of this protractor. It has a diameter of 10 centimeters and you're gonna use 3.14 for pi. When we do this, we're finding half the area of a circle. Remember, a semicircle is exactly one half of a circle. We're again told the diameter of 10, so we have to find the radius given a diameter of 10. The radius is half of the diameter, so in this case, the radius is five. So now I'm ready to come up to my area formula. 
I have the one half because it's still a semicircle, 3.14 for pi, and my radius is 5. So again, on your calculator, you need to do this first because of order of operations. This is an exponent. 5 times 5 times 3.14 divide by 2 or multiply by 0 0.5. When you do that, you get 39.25 square centimeters. Okay, your turn. You have a semicircle here that has a diameter of 9 feet. Notice this whole diameter is black, and it's also stated in the problem. You're going to use 3.14 for pi. Hit pause, complete your work, and come back and hit play when you're ready to check. Welcome back. So we're going to use the area formula. And again, we've got the one half in here because this is a semicircle. It's half of a circle. And they've given me the diameter. So I first need to go find the radius, reminding you that the radius is half of the diameter. Half of 9 is 4.5. So I'm going to take my radius value and come back up to my area formula and replace my radius with 4.5. So again, pi is 3.14. I still have the 1 half because this is a semicircle. Using what I know about order of operations in my calculator, I first square the radius. So 4.5 times 4.5 multiplied by 3.14 divide by 2 or multiplied by 0 0.5. Remembering that multiplying by one half is the same as dividing by two. When I do that calculation, I get 31.7925 square feet. Again, I do not round unless they ask me to round, and that way I can never get the problem wrong. Find the area of a semicircle that has a radius of 13 inches. Your turn. Go ahead and pause, complete your work, and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your answer. Welcome back. So again, I have the one half here, remembering that that one half only is used when you have half of a circle. The area of a whole circle is pi r squared, but we have half of a circle, so I'm going to find half of the area. They told us that the radius is 13, so I replace r with 13 and pi with 3.14. Again, using order of operations, we're going to do 13 times 13 times 3.14 and divide by 2. So now we have 265.33 square inches. Thank you for joining me today.